Hello everyone, on today we are going to be analysing the uh, Summer Games Fest trailer for Sonic X Shadow Generations. I'm also going to be talking about some of the information that we got. I'm also going to be talking about like, I'm also going to be talking about that hub world area uh, as well. But let's watch this trailer, well analyse this trailer because I've already watched it a few times. I was watching it during the Summer Games Fest so, you know, yeah. And if you're wondering why I didn't react to the whole of Summer Games Fest, is because, like, well, that's over three fuck. Well, two reasons. A, it's over three hours, and honestly, I just don't want to make a three-hour video of me reacting to games. A good majority, I don't really give a shit about. That's one thing. And number two, I was watching the uh, Summer Games Fest with some of my friends, and, like, even though some of them are cool with being in YouTube videos, some of them are not. So, you know, that's why. But anyway, um, let's get to analysing. It, so, yeah, like, we already see, like, you know, the generations bit. So I'm just going to ignore all, like, the uh, Sonic modes. Uh, but I will point this out. I know a lot of people are saying that the graphics for, like, the uh, Sonic mode uh, look the same as... Um, as the as the original generations but if you do look uh, but if you look very closely you can see there are slight touch-ups but here's the thing though the reason why i'm able to notice this and some people aren't is because i play generations all the fucking time and that's the prop and that's the problem and not it's not a problem me, me playing generations is not the problem what i mean is is that yeah I'm able to notice the difference because I play Generations a lot. But to some people that have only played like Generations like maybe once or twice in their whole lives and are uh, seeing this footage, I don't blame them for not telling the telling the difference because like you need it pointed out to you. That's the thing you need it pointed out to you, and I think that is like a really I think that's really bad. So like. I don't say that, like, you know, didn't, like, it looked like, gener like, Generations looks like shit. Now, I do think that this version of the game looks fantastic. I think the gra- I think the graphics, even though, like, they look slightly different and not that much different, I will admit, it does look better than the original. It looks fantastic. It looks way better than the original. I will admit that, but the fact that I'm able to notice this, but 90% of people- that are watching this trailer can't, that's a fucking problem. Um, and I'm not blaming the people, I am blaming Sega for not being, like, out there with the remaster. <laughs> Alright, and apparently this is meant to be a remake. They didn't just, like, take, like, Generations and just port it to PS5. No, like, this is meant to be a full-on remake, apparently. <laughs> yeah, and I that and I don't believe that, to be honest. But we're not here for the Sonic mode, we're here for the newly added Shadow mode. So, I just felt like pointing that out before we progressed. <laughs> yeah. So, as you can see here, Time Eater is part of Shadow's story. And it was already confirmed that the Shadow mode, uh, that the story in the Shadow mode does take place during the events of Generations. And seeing how you fight Shadow in Generations... That reminds me. How does the Shadow mode end? Does it end... Like, does it end where his boss fight begins? Or does it end in a way where, like... Uh, uh, like, his boss is, like, an evil clone of him? And... Or like you know, or does it, or does it end with? And I hope this is the actual ending. Does it end with him getting that one chaos emerald, and then he goes like, you know what? If Sonic wants this badly, he's gonna have to fight me for it. You know, I hope that's the case because like that. Even though I do hate it when Sonic and Shadow like you know stroke their own egos, I do love it when they just like fight over childish bullshit. I do love that. It, it's just funny. It's just funny to me. You know, uh, even though like I will admit, I really hate how Team Sonic Racing bastardized Sonic himself. I will admit his interactions with Sh I will admit like his interactions with Shadow of Sonic saying like no I'm better no and then Shadow go like no I'm better uh you know like I I I will admit 
though those moments are really funny, yeah, it's just the rest of the game is where Sonic is just a complete prick for no reason. And but yeah, so Time Eater is here, and because he's getting and because Time Eater is controlled by Eggman. Does that mean Eggman used Time Eater to bring Black Doom back to life? Because you have to keep in mind, Black Doom died at the end of Shadow the Hedgehog. So, did Eggman just bring him back to life just to kill Shadow? Because you have to keep in mind, Shadow can be more aggressive than Sonic, and Eggman knows this. So, I think he was like, yeah, no, Shadow's gonna stop me, so I'm gonna have to get... I'm gonna have to bring Black Doom back to life, even though he tried to kill me, but whatever. <laughs> yep. Also, yeah, this... Also, this stage right here is from Sonic Heroes. I want to say it's Rail Canyon. Yeah, it's Rail Canyon, yeah, because not only is Shadow, like, grinding on rails, but you see... There's also seems to be this train in the background. It's been a while since I've played Heroes, so... I'm gonna need to, like... I'll probably just look up a Let's Play of Heroes to actually confirm whether that fucking train behind Shadow was in Heroes, or they just added it here. But yeah, you can tell this is Rail Canyon, not just because of the grind rails that Shadow is on, but if you look in the background, you can see, like, some of these cannons that were used to, like, launch out your character, uh, so, you know, to get to the next area of the... of the level. Oh, so... Yeah, yeah, we got, yeah, so, Ra yeah, so this is Rail Canyon. Uh, uh, so, um, here's what I want to know. How does the home and attack work here? Because, like, when we see Shadow attacking enemies, as we can see here, he is teleporting. In. He's, like, teleporting while he's attacking these enemies. But, if you saw my reaction to the gate, to the 10 minute gameplay footage, from yesterday, when he is attack, when he is like attacking just like normal objects that aren't enemies, he's doing a regular home and attack, and, and not teleporting. So, I want to know how does the home and attack, uh, how home and attack, how does the home and attack function here? That's what I want to know. Also, I love- I'm not gonna lie, this little animation right here of him falling, it looks so fucking goofy. I mean, look at it. it <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. It looks so- I will admit, I think the graphics in the Shadow Mode look fantastic. I'll go as far as to say they look better than the graphics in Sonic Unleashed. About fucking time, by the way! Don't get me wrong, I love the graphics in Sonic Unleashed. Love them. But, like, you know, the fact that it took over 16 fucking years, 16 years, to get a game that has better graphics than Sonic Unleashed, is, and it's not even its own game, it's a, it's just a little, it's just a little small game bundled up with an old game, that is sad and embarrassing. But yeah, like this animation right here, though. Yeah, like of it. Like what? What's why? Why is he flaying, flaying his arms about like that? Like, oh, oh, oh. It, it, it looks like a. It, it honestly looks like. I know he didn't use motion capture for the cutscenes in this game, which thank God. But it honestly does look like they use motion capture here. It looks like uh, Shadow. Uh, it just looks like the guy doing like the motion capture for Shadow is drunk. Like that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> Yeah, more generations footage, yeah, no one cares. Alright, yeah, now here's something I am liking here. Alright, so, like, if we go right over here. Yeah, Shadow, here, Shadow can actually use his Chaos abilities. And we, and we already knew that he can use his, I'm gonna have to slow down the footage, actually. Hey, uh, where's speed, video speed, uh, like, uh, what the hell? Okay, whatever. But yeah, like, but yeah, as you can see, yeah, he has his chaos abilities. Now we already knew from the first trailer that he does his that he does have his chaos abilities because in the announcement trailer from State of Play, he is actually like you know throwing chaos spears at the Bio Lizard boss. So we already know he has his chaos abilities. So he does. So not only do we have like chaos spear, but we also have chaos control as well. This is clearly chaos control that he's using here. Uh, so. <laughs> Do we have, like, so, like, you know, since we have Chaos Control here, 
uh, does that mean, like, you know, what, does that mean in we're gonna have, like, other abilities, like, Chaos Blast us and Chaos Dash? Like, are we gonna have that? Who knows? Uh, who knows? <laughs> Alright, yeah, Metal Sonic in, no one cares. Yeah. Alright, now, oh, oh god, uh, the way that spring popped up is a bit weird, but... Uh, yeah, so, like, here, it looks like this level, uh, it, like, we all know that, uh, we all know that Shadow goes through his own levels. Now, question is, are some of these levels from Shadow the Hedgehog? Because right now, the only levels we seem to be seeing are from Sonic 06, Sonic Heroes, and Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, now, yeah, I know there's that West Opolis bit, it, but that, I am not counting that as its own level, because that's clearly used during the Arc level, which is obviously the first level of this game. So, I have a feeling, it, I'm not saying we aren't going to see any Shadow the Hedgehog representation, but I'm just saying, you know, it would be weird if we don't get to play through any levels from Shadow's own game. <laughs> Aim. So, yeah, so we all know that this is, like, an art, a level from Sonic Adventure 2, and it looks like they added this thing where these missiles, uh, these giant fucking missiles are chasing you. <laughs> right, that's Rail Canyon. Yeah, now we have Kingdom Valley from Sonic 06. Now, I know a lot of people are wondering why is Sonic 06 getting representation here. Well, you have to keep in mind, this is not just a new Shadow game, this is also a remaster of Sonic Generations. So maybe they, so maybe like, you know, because like, you have to keep in mind, in Sonic Generations, uh, they had some Sonic 06 representation in the form of Crisis City. So maybe they just want to have it where like, we get to play through like, a good majority of Shadow's levels. Now, quick question. The reason why these levels are here... Uh, is because, like, you know, it's because, like, Shad- Because these are games that Shadow has been in and been playable in. So the question is, how many of these levels are we going to get? Because, like, you know, they're obviously not gonna add in, like, spin-off games like the Sonic Racing games. They're not gonna add in stuff like Sonic Battle and all that. Uh, they're just gonna strictly stick to the platforming games. So... Are we going to get some Black Knight representation? Because Shadow was technically playable in that one. But then again, it wasn't really the real Shadow. And Shadow would have no memory, so I guess that wouldn't work. Uh, I, the question I have is... Is it going to be one level per game? Kind of like in the original generations? Because if that's the case, that's going to be pretty fucking short. You know? Because, like, um, I'm trying to think of, like... How many games Shadow's been playable in? Like, there's, like, Sonic Adventure 2, there's Sonic Heroes, there's Shadow's own game, and there's Sonic 06. Um, was there any other? Like, I know there, like, was there any, like, I'm talking about mainline platforming games. Like, I'm not talking about spin-off games like Sonic Battle or the Sonic Racing games, like, was he playable? Like, he wasn't in Advance. I know he wasn't in Advance. He wasn't in any of the Advance games. <laughs> like, at all. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, he wasn't even in, in Advance 3. He... He's not an adventure. Like... Yeah. Like, was there any 2D games that he was playable in? I don't think he... There was. No. Huh. I mean, like, yeah, there's, like, Sonic fan... Yeah, there's, like, 2D Sonic fan games where he's playable, but that's about it. And those are fan games. Aren't, those aren't official. He's not even in any of the Rush games. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I guess the only other game we would be able to have would technically be Sonic Chronicles. I don't think anyone wants to play for a level of that game. <laughs> like... Yeah, so if let's say, like, yeah, so like, yeah, so I'm just thinking here, so like, Adventure 2, ooh, Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, and Sonic 06, yeah, if that's the case, that's only like four levels, yeah, so like, Sega, if you're watching this, like, you know, for the love of God, if you have to delay, even if it means you have to delay the game 
for the love of God, please add in more than four levels. Now, apparently, according to Ian Flynn, the game, it, like, the shadow mode is going to take, like, two hours to beat. Okay, and I have a feeling that none of the levels are going to be around, like, over 30 hours, so... Oh, yeah, I know Takashi Azuka uh, did say, like, you know, the game won't be as long as the original Generations, but you also have to keep in mind that, A, Generations took three hours to beat, not two, three hours. It took three hours to beat, not two, all right? So that's one thing. Okay. And, like, number two, Takashi Zuka did say a good chunk. It will share, like, it will share a good chunk of the length of Generations anyway. So even if Generations was two hours, like, it could still be, like, under two. It could just slightly be under two hours. Like, you know, uh, just say maybe it might be ten minutes shorter. Who knows? But, like, seriously, like, please, please, like, have more than four levels. Like, like, please have more than four levels. Like, please. Like, because, like, here's the thing. I would not care if this only had four levels. But the problem is, is that this is the main... This shadow mode is the main selling point of this remaster. If your main selling point is, like, one of those, like, games that you could beat in, like, less than half an hour. That's not gonna... That's not a good thing. And even if the levels are fun as hell to play, and even if the mode itself is really fun, it's not going to be... It's going to, like, that £55 price tag... No, £45. Like, depending on which version you get, whether the Standard Edition or the uh, Digital Deluxe Edition, like, £45 or £55, if your main selling point only has four levels and you're still selling it at, like, 55 or 45 pounds that's kind of a ripoff Sega and don't you dare say that like, oh the generations remaster and yes I have heard with like and yes I have heard that the gener that the Sonic mode isn't just a port of generations they have added in new missions they're given classic Sonic new abilities and you can un and there's a possibility of unlocking skins that's cool. That still doesn't justify a 45 slash 55 pound price tag. Keep that in mind. Alright, so, yeah. So, are we going to see, like, multiple levels from Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, and Sonic 06? Or are we going to only get one level per game? For the love of God, please don't be the latter. Please. Yeah, yeah. so that's Kingdom Valley again. Even though I do think the graphics in the game look good, not gonna lie, this moment right here where, like, yeah, where, like, he... Where the wind just pops out of nowhere, there's no cool animation, it just, like, randomly pops in, like, in, uh, like, in Sonic Frontiers, just like, pop! Yeah, just like that, that looks pretty bad. That looks, like, extremely bad, it does, like... Like, really, really fucking bad. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just double checking. Oh yes, here we go. Here we go. So we got like another cutscene here, uh, and like Shadow randomly turns into Venom from the 2018 comics. Yeah, he's got fucking like he's got fucking devil wings now. What the hell? Okay, I won't deny he looked cool and badass, but when the fuck did he get this ability? Like. When did he get this ability? Now, from the looks of it, it looks like this is the first time he's getting it, and it kind of looks like he's in pain. It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, DMC Devil May Cry 2013, where Dante unlocks tri Devil Trigger mode for the first time. Like, the first time you activate it, Dante, like, I, is, like, you know, like, Dante is in, like, such fucking pain. But then once the power activates, he kind of gets, like, a bit of an adrenaline rush. So I think that's what's happening here. And I will admit, it does look kind of cool, but also at the same time, that fucking face, it looks like he's about to go, Ah, fuck that hurts! You know, it looks like he's about to go like that. Uh, and also, if you get the digital deluxe edition, 
You do get to play the game three days early, which is something I am hoping to do. I am planning to pre-order the Digital Deluxe Edition on Steam. And I'll get the physical standard version on PS5 and maybe Xbox Series X and Switch, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, and uh, also, right here. If you're wondering who this is, Teros the Hedgehog... This is what Shadow's original look and name was meant to be. So that's why it's here. This was Shadow's original design. And even though I think it looks cool, I will admit I am glad that they did change Shadow's design. Because this honestly looks like this honestly looks like something that an edgy Sonic fan would come up with. This looks like this is this screams edgy original the character do not steal. You know, like this what it that's what it looks like to me. Also, not only that, uh, we get the uh, Sonic Adventure a Legacy skin, which, yes, thank you, thank you, like, finally, it, it reminds me of Crash Bandicoot 4. Now, let's talk about uh, some information. Now, apparently, uh, we already brought up the fact that Izuka uh, said that, like, you know, the game might not be as long as Generations, but it shares a good chunk of its length. Which means there should be more than four levels, but who knows? Anyways, the also, also, they, uh, also, they have confirmed that, like, you, well, not really confirmed, but they are teasing the idea of a Sonic Generations remaster, which... Oh, no, not Sonic Generations, bleh, stupid me, a Sonic Unleashed remaster, which, by the way, Sega, if you are doing a Sonic Unleashed remaster, do the smart thing and get rid of the fucking set of moon medals! Sorry, 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 it's just, I love Sonic Unleashed, but my god, I fucking hated the sun and, I fucking hated collecting the sun and moon medals in that game. It would, it was so annoying to beat, like, an awesome level to, and then, like, you know, before I could go into the next awesome level, Chip would say, Nope, you don't have enough sun medals. Here's another sun, sun, here's another sun and moon medals you need to collect in order to play as regular a Sonic or Werehog Sonic again in this new level. Yeah, fuck you! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just, like, yeah. Also, there's going to be a 3D hub world now, which looks a lot like Soliana. Now, we don't know how this hub world is. Like, we just know it's 3D. It looks like Soliana, and it's clearly obvious they're taking inspiration from Sonic Frontiers. But we only have a screenshot at the moment. We do not have any footage of this hub world just yet. We only have a screenshot. Oh. And yes, I do know about the front cover. I'm not going to bother talking about stuff like the front cover and all that. You, like, someone else can do that shit. I don't care. Alright, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.